Hello, my tarot peeps. This is going to be a general reading. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. If you like what you hear, or if any of it vibes with you, go ahead and subscribe for further updates. Um, I've heard from a lot of other tarot readers on YouTube that there are people reaching out to you, pretending to be one of us. Um, I'm not going to reach out to you. I'm not going to charge you for any readings I do. As of right now, I'm not doing personal readings, but even when I do, I will not charge for those. So, for um, more in-depth de uh, description of that, stay tuned until after the reading, and I will go into more detail. But just keep that in mind. Anyway, like I said, if you like what you hear and want to keep up to date, uh, hit the subscribe button. And, yeah, I go and just stay tuned until after the reading. All right. Later. Libra Scorpio reading. Single card reading. What do my Libra Scorpio custom babies what does spirit want y'all to know libra scorpio what does spirit want y'all to know single card reading hopefully i don't get surprises with this one single card reading look surprise one that one popped out on its own single card reading that was another one that popped out <laughs> I haven't even drawn your cards yet. Single card reading. This is going to be your card. Whale. Through music you reclaim life's magic and grow strong in body and soul. Raven. Listen to your intuition to receive a message from the world of spirit. Orangutan. I don't read upside downs for this deck right now. But working to live joyously, not living to work. Okay. I think y'all need to work on yourselves. There's stress in your, in your lives. <laughs> the orangutan's definitely doing that. You're working too hard. My Libra Scorpios. There's hard work here and y'all need to <laughs> Y'all need to find a balance. Y'all need to have fun. Because right now you <laughs> You're so busy working that you have no time for anything else. And it's weighing on you. There's a very good chance it's taking your health down considerably. You need to relax. Reclaim your life, your the magic of life that work is pulling away from you. Now listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to tell you how to do that. You need to soar. You need to soar above whatever is going on right now. Your intuition is brilliant. You can see what road you need to take if you listen. But something in your work. Yeah, you're you're just working way too hard, my Libra Scorpios. And maybe you can't get away. Maybe you, right now there's no financial way to get out of this hard work. Or maybe there is and you just think you're enjoying working and you're not. And it's... It's causing problems. But escape into the mu music. Because music is where what's going to heal your soul right now. Your heart. I, yeah, I, I see a health situation with you. You're working so hard it's affecting your health. Take a moment. I don't think you have very much of it though. I understand that. I've worked three jobs in the past, and yeah, I ended up in the hospital over it. So, yeah. Orangutan, is, he's just working so hard, and he's forgetting to have fun. And maybe he can't stop. Maybe 
he hasn't found a way because he's not listening to his intuition. But you'll find it in music. There's some kind of harmony. Maybe listen to some healing vibrations. There are plenty of them on YouTube. Look up heal healing songs, sounds, healing vibrations, binary beats. Yeah, binary beats. Look into some binary beats. Whatever this medical condition is, whether it's stress, anxiety, something worse, cancer, I don't know, but is causing an, a situation in your life. Maybe look up some binary beats. Search binary, binary beats for stress, for anxiety, for whatever situation is ailing you right now. And listen to it because this is going to help. Just find some music that you love. Do you play an instrument? Do you like to listen to music at all? Because this card is telling you that's where you're going to heal. And then listen to your intuition. You know what you need to do. You know where you need to go. And you'll find a way to do it if you listen to it, your intuition. Your intuition might be leading you. Your intuition led you here to me. And I'm telling you. That the music. The binary beats. That might be where you're needing to look. I am so, so sorry my Libra Scorpios. Y'all are. The joy is just being sucked out of y'all's lives. And y'all know from the raven. Yeah, y'all know there's more to it, the situation, but y'all just feel like you're stuck in a loop and it's going to be like that until you die and it doesn't have to be. You can heal. This the whale is telling you you can heal. It's not too late to heal. Anyway, take this as it resonates. I hope and pray for y'all. Y'all have a hard... That is a rough road on y'all's shoulders right now. Please, please. Be careful out there. Y'all are... Wow, y'all are just... Uh, y'all are working hard. Hi, my tarot peeps. This is my son. Say hi, everybody. Anyway, yeah, I do cusp readings because nobody else seems to pay much attention to cusps. I'm not a cusp myself. I do know a few people that have are born on the cusp, so... I do readings for them mainly. I would just like to point out that um, all my readings so right now are general readings for cusps. Not to say that if uh, it's requested, I won't do a reading for a flat sign. Uh, this includes years, monkey, tiger, anything like that. This is my little tiger here. But, um, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm sticking to the cusp because it's not something that many, many people consider and think about. Again, if y'all request something else, I will do it. If, um, all my readings are free, I will never charge for a reading. I personally don't believe spirit wants us to make a profit off of that. Spirit, God, whatever you want to say. So, I do not charge for those. I do not currently do personal readings. That will eventually change in the future. But first, I want to get some uh, spiritual work done so that I feel more open and inclined 
to be able to interpret readings like that. So my readings right now, I feel are going to be more for one, their general entertainment readings. But for two, I feel like spirit is going to show that to the people that need it. When it's their time to come across them, y'all will come across it and it's there for you. So that's why I'm doing general readings right now. Like I said, there will be a point in the future when I get everything accomplished that I will do personal readings. At that point in time, my readings will all be on YouTube. I am not going to do personal readings that are outside of YouTube. Um. So, when that comes to be a thing, I will let y'all know. <laughs> you are such a sweetheart. Even though he's fussy because he needs to get some sleep. Yeah, look at this ceiling. You know you're sleepy. Yes, you do. Hi. <laughs> I also don't do readings when he's around. I'm going to check in on that a little bit more before I do things like that. Because I have feelings maybe I shouldn't re do readings around him. So, yeah, that's a thing. But, yeah. Um, like I said, all my readings... Right now, I feel like are interpreted by spirit. They will be sent to the people they need to go to. So, take what resonates when you get those. I also... Yeah, because like my first set of readings that I did um, were actually originally for the month of February. I kept putting them off. I never found the time to do, uh, release them in February, so they just ended up being general readings. And I felt that they were released when they should be released because I literally, a few of them, woke up and just posted them kind of unfinished because I wanted to actually fix a few things with those first. But I felt like they needed to be posted when they were. So someone out there clearly needs to hear something on those. Um, you will hear me go back and forth between God and spirits. Because I know everybody has their different views on that. I'm personally religious myself. But I know a lot of people just prefer the general term for that. And I also believe that all of that is a thing in some ways. So, yeah. Here's my adorable little fussy man. Are you going to smile for the camera? He says, um, no. Yeah. Look. Say hi. Look. But, yeah. If you want to see more of him, I do have a channel in the making that eventually I will get around to posting on more baby days and yeah he's on those despite being happy about that apparently he doesn't want to be on there um I haven't posted on there for a while so I need to I have a bunch of videos I am going to upload eventually but that's that I Anyway, as I was saying, I don't accept, I don't, well, I don't, accept is the wrong word for that. I don't take payments for tarot readings, even when I start doing personal readings, because I don't agree with, I don't feel like that's the right thing to do. That being said, I will accept donations, because, you know, I have to be able to take care of this one. <laughs> and... I need to get the readings out to y'all, hopefully in a timely manner. Um, so if y'all like what I do and feel that that's a something for y'all, young, I'll have donation information in my um, reading links, probably a GoFundMe page. 
for at least a little while until I figure out a few other things. I'm working on selling candles and I have a book that I will be selling. The book has nothing to do with tarot, but it is a um, uh, fairy tale retelling. So if anybody's interested in that, it's not really a kid's book, but so yeah, I will be selling things on the sidelines just to make ends meet and to um, provide to y'all the free readings that I'm doing. But like I said, if anything resonates and y'all would like to donate, that would be much appreciated. But I'm not going to charge for any of my readings, which I would, I hope to be able to do in the near future. So, yeah. And this little fussy thing who was laughing until I started the camera. I know. Yeah. Anyway, I haven't done a reading since this happened, so I am going to attempt to do those with these or with this, but I can't promise shuffling is going to work really well like that. I haven't messed with the tarot deck since, so. And there's people out there that have a feeling, and y'all are probably right on what happened there. I'm just gonna leave it at that, but y'all also know why, so. Anyway. <sighs> Aside from that, just forgive my, um, how my tarot readings are going right now it's going to be temporary as i do them i will upgrade everything i'm doing so there's that um yeah i'm probably gonna put a shorter version of this at the beginning of all my um future episodes this one i'm thinking about putting at the end just so y'all don't have to listen to me talk for 15 minutes because right now it's at 11 but it'll probably end up going farther than that but y'all might just be enjoying watching this adorable little chitlin who is covered in baby food because he just got done eating. And now he's being fussy. Yeah. And Joan is butt 